today I am going to share with you my tips and secrets on buying on the pre-loved luxury market. Hi everybody, Laura here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Uh, today I am going to share with you buying on the pre-loved luxury market which can sound very easy, very simple, but there are some tricks and tactics um, that you need to know before you start diving into that. First, I wanted to cover the fact that the resale luxury market as a whole has gotten huge. In the last four years, it has grown tremendously. And the Rob Report just did an article, in fact, about the pre-loved luxury market and the fact that last year alone in 2023 it was a 49.3 billion with a b a 49.3 billion dollar industry and it still has kept growing to this day now we all know that when the pandemic hit Everyone was, um, you know, shopping online, couldn't go in stores. Um, so a lot of people turned to the pre-loved markets. Not everybody loves the fact that the pre-loved market is growing. One, a lot of the luxury houses out there aren't very happy about it because the pre-loved sales, the price they sell for pretty much predicts the resale value of the bag and what it's going to be worth if you ever resell it. So if it has a bad resale value, a lot of people aren't purchasing those bags because they're afraid that if they ever get rid of it, they're going to lose money. Well, let's clear one thing up right now. You're never going to be making money on a handbag. Um, it, it's, it's truly rare. Um, perhaps if you have an Hermes that you kept in pristine condition, um, because we know that Hermes is very difficult to get. In fact, to even get on the list to get a Birkin or a Kelly, you usually have to spend at least $200,000 in the Hermes store to be on the list to even get one. So, a lot of people, because of this, were purchasing the bags on the pre-loved market. Now, you're not going to be, you know, making money on a bag. But we do like to know that if we ever do, in fact, want to sell the bag that we no longer are in love with, we want to know that we're not going to be taken and hung out to dry and lose a lot of money, okay? So the design houses um, watch very closely um, what their bags are selling for. And a lot of them, I mean, Hermes has never gone down. Um, in fact, the pre-love market, again, because you can't get Hermes readily, you can't walk into the store and just buy a Birkin. It's not going to happen. So because of this, their prices have remained very steady. And in fact, sometimes you can almost sell your bag for more than what you paid for it. Chanel, um, Chanel holds its value quite well, but you're still not going to make money on the bag. So I just want to clear up that don't buy handbags as an investment, people, because they... So Hermes um, has remained at the top. Um, Louis Vuitton um, is still probably down 30 to 40%. Um, a lot of the other bags, the Bottegas, the Balenciagas, the Gucci's, they're all down maybe 10, 23%, somewhere along those lines. And we know as trends come and go, the resale values are going to fluctuate as well. So. Let's get into what I do before I plan on purchasing a new bag. 
So the first thing you want to do is figure out what bag you want. And I'm not talking about when you're just perusing and browsing and just looking at bags and happen to see something you, you like. Okay. But you need to find out like what bag in particular you're looking for. Okay. Well, let me take, um, for example, a bag that I just purchased on the pre-loved market. And this was a bag um, and, and a company that I had just done a video on. If you saw my video on MCM, which is Modern Creations Munchen, um, I did a video um, telling you all about and explaining the, the company MCM and their fabulous bags. So I decided that I wanted to get the Kelly version, which is a vintage bag. I wanted the Kelly version of an MCM bag because I love that style so much. So the first thing I did was I always just Google whatever it is I'm looking for. So in this case, I Googled MCM Kelly style bag. Boom. So then I see what comes up. So then what you want to do is you always want to click on top to shopping. That's going to show you whatever bags are for sale at that time. So once I see which, you know, who has the bag for sale, whether it's the Real Real or Poshmark or the Stare Collective, Fashion File, um, Rebag, all, any of those, the first thing I do is I go on each site and I will look at one, the condition of the bag. Um, also, two, who's selling the bag? Um, are they someone who's never sold anything before? Are they, you know, do they have good ratings? Are they trustworthy? So I want to look at the condition very carefully, look at all the pictures, and then I also want to see how much they want for the bag. Okay, fair enough. So then I will go through all the sites, see what condition each person has the bag for and how much. If a price ever seems too good to be true, and it probably is. So I finally, um, there weren't that many out there actually. I think I only found like three or four. Um, there were some on eBay. Um, but I finally um, decided to get the one that was on Vestaire Collective, um, which is this one right here. Um, beautiful vintage MCM bag in excellent, excellent condition. Um, I believe I paid around $340 for this bag, which is an excellent deal, actually. And this bag is, I'm telling you, it's in really good condition. Came with the lock, came with the key. Um, the other thing is, um, I know like on, especially on like the best air collection, they will tell you where the bag is located. Now, I'm not trying to say that anybody except this country doesn't take care of their bags or anything, but I have found that bags coming out of Japan, okay, are really well taken care of they really do take care of their um their possessions their anything that they have they take really good care of it i'm not saying that you know nobody else does okay i'm not saying that but i'm just saying that if you find a pre-loved bag that's coming from japan chances are it's going to be in really good condition not guaranteeing it, but I'm saying for the most part. So this one was in really, really excellent condition. I was really happy with it. Um, also make sure that it's a no smoking home because once you get um, an odor in your bag, it's just, it's going to be extremely difficult to get it out. Trust me. It's just, oof. So, also, before you go on any of the, 
the pre-loved sites, okay, looking for the bag. You know, let's say you do want to buy it pre-loved. Okay, always go to the source. And by source, I mean go to the, the brand itself. Go to their website. I'm going to tell you, there have been times that I have been either purchasing a, a bag or shoes or a belt. And I have gone on to the actual website and the item is either the same price or actually even less than what they were wanting on the pre-loved market. Okay, not every item on the pre-loved market is going to be a good deal. Okay, I, for instance, wanted an Hermes belt um, a while back. So I'm looking and I'm looking and I see belts from like, you know, this was, you know, a couple of years ago, you know, it was in pandemic and, you know, you know, everyone's on pre-loved markets and I'm, I'm looking for an Hermes belt and I, and I'm looking, they're all like, you know, like 12, 1200, 1300, even, you know, a thousand. And I'm like, okay, wait, let me just see how much these belts really cost. So I get the dimensions, I get, you know, 32, you know, centimeter belt. I look up on Hermes and sure enough, they were like 950. I'm not saying that's cheap for a belt, but I was amazed how, you know, people were trying to sell pre-loved belts that were used with scratches on them for more than what I can get it new on Hermes. And plus, when you get it straight from the source, you have no question on the authenticity of the item. So I went on Hermes and just bought the belt brand new because I'm astounded at what people want for a pre-loved Hermes belt with scratches on it. It's crazy. So always go to the source to find out what that item costs new. You'll be amazed sometimes. People, you know, have a raggedy, beat up, smelly bag and they want, you know, maybe 200 less than what you can get it for brand new on the site. So make sure you do your research on that. Okay. Make sure. And then once you've established what you wanted, which site, you, the condition, the price and everything, then, you know, by all means, you should feel comfortable purchasing that bag. Now, the sites that I have used, um, I've never had a bad, ex well, no, wait, I have one. I have, I've had one where I ordered a, um, a pre-loved Carolina Herrera bag. Um, in fact, I, I did a video on that, um, but I had gotten the bag. Um, it, was on, it was on Poshmark. Sorry, Poshmark, um, but I ordered it and, you know, they said the bag was in great condition, um, very little wear, blah, 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 great bag. I order it, I get it. And the first thing I noticed before I even opened the box was the smell coming from the bag was bad. It was bad. I open, I open the package, get the bag out, and I'm like, Oh my God, this bag smells like just smoke and I don't even know what else, but it stunk so bad. So immediately I went on, um, asked for a return, whatever, went through Poshmark, told them, um, they accepted it. I, I got, you know, I got my credit back and everything with no problem. So, um, just be aware, sometimes you still may run into instances where sellers aren't always going to be totally honest with you and transparent about the bag, okay? Make sure there's lots of pictures. Make sure it says whether it's, you know, a smoke-free home. And make sure you know that the of the return policy, okay? Because you can still fight it. You can, even though they say returns aren't accepted, you can always, there's always a way around that. Um, just make sure you look at everything. Um, and so other than the minor incident at Poshmark, um, everything I've ever ordered 
um, so far I have been very happy with. Um, I have ordered from um, Rebag, been really happy with Rebag. Um, Best Air Collective, done that. Good, good outcomes. In fact, this is where, this is where, you know, she came from. So super happy with that one. Um, Poshmark, of course, um, I've purchased some things, not handbags, but some things off of Mercari. Um, I purchased, um, I should have a, a gold card for the real, real. Um, I purchased a lot of bags and shoes and belts and clothes and all kinds of things off the real, real. Been very happy with that. I've heard people who are, you know, just not, not happy with it and, um, you know, maybe they've gotten a, a counterfeit something or other. I, you know, I can't speak for that. Everything I have gotten has been, um, great. It's been authentic. And in fact, I find that the, in fact, when they say it's like maybe in just good condition, I get it. And I'm like, this isn't like really excellent, very good condition. So they're very, um, up front about any um, markings or wear and tear or odors or anything else with the item. So I'm very happy with that. There are so many platforms to buy pre-loved anything nowadays. There's um, online auction houses. There's, you know, all of the resale luxury sites I have named. There's, you know, there's eBay. There's just, there's numerous ways to buy um, pre-loved luxury. But whatever platform you do choose, make sure that the item's been authenticated, okay? You want to make sure of that because there is a lot of fake stuff out there. Um, I have seen some of it myself, um, so just beware of that. The other avenue for buying pre-love is always if you have any luxury consignment shops near you. Um, I happen to have um, many, many in Arizona, and there are some here also um, in Florida as well. So you may want to check those out. It's always nice to be able to um, see the bag for yourself. Um, actually, you know, touch and feel the bag, look at the condition. Um, but also again, you know, some consignment stores all, aren't always, um, that reasonable. I have found some that have been a little high priced in my opinion. Um, so always check that out. Um, and never impulse buy anything. Make sure you go and look up. We all have phones. We all have smartphones nowadays. So there's no excuse not to look something up. We all know we have them. So grab your phone, look it up, scroll through, see what that item is going for on other platforms, and just know whether you're getting a good deal or not. You know, because it's easy to think that you're in a consignment shop and that you're just getting the best deal ever. And a lot of people don't know. They may be looking for their first bag and they walk into a store and they just, they, they don't have the knowledge and they end up buying a bag and maybe they didn't get that great of a deal. Maybe they paid too much. So always know and do your research before you purchase a bag. And when I say don't make an impulse purchase, um, you know, most of the time something on a, on a website um, is not going to be sold immediately. Depends on the item. Okay. But what I usually do is I, you know, I get all my ducks in a row and I figure out what I want, where I want to buy it. I save it. And then I kind of just think about it. Okay. There's so one thing you want to think about, especially if you are new to buying luxury or you just want to buy you know, maybe it's your first bag or maybe you don't buy bags that often. Think about and actually do this. Visualize yourself carrying that bag. Okay, picture yourself. What would I be wearing? What would I be doing? Where am I going to be able to take this bag? You know, is it a bag I have to be really careful with? Is it a color that I'm going to, you know, have trouble 
you know, wearing certain outfits with? Is it going to be too flashy? Is it going to be too big? Is it going to be too small? Know all these things beforehand, okay? Measure the bag, figure out how big it is. Does your phone fit? Does your wallet fit? Do your glasses fit? Make sure things fit in the bag. Because there's nothing worse than getting a bag and finding out that this is just not the bag for me. This is not. So make sure you're doing this. Actually think about it before you buy it. And when you're comfortable with all that, yes, it's a bag I love. I love the color. I can take it with me to work. I can take it with me when I'm out. Whatever. Then, then you can feel comfortable clicking on the buy button because it's so easy now with online. You know, you just click, click, and there you go. So it, it's it's become very easy um, to purchase bags now, and especially because we actually don't see the money <laughs> changing hands that we sometimes forget how much we're spending, okay? Um, the other thing, too, is just don't make sure it's a bag you can afford, okay? Don't be busting the bank. Don't be, you know, charge carding. Don't be taking out a second mortgage on the house. Don't do that. No matter how bad you think you want that bag, just don't do it or find a dupe. I've done videos on dupes too, but just make sure that it's a bag that you're going to totally love, use, and it's affordable, okay? So when you get that bag and you unbox it, you're going to be like, yes, score, okay? That's how I want you guys to feel rather than, um, you know, crap, I paid a lot of money and I really don't even like this bag that much. I foresee the online pre-love market only getting bigger and bigger. I really do, um, and I'm glad because um, it's recycling. You know, every bag that you know somebody else no longer loves, it gets a new home. So I'm glad about that. So I hope you guys found these tips helpful. I know they seem, you know, pretty basic, very logical, but sometimes I think we forget about that, especially when we're watching so many videos on handbags. So I get it. So again, I just want you guys to be happy with the bags that you have and to not, you know, bust the bank um, and, you know, be homeless over bags. Okay. The last thing I want to see is one of you guys out there on the side of the road holding up a sign that says will work for handbags. Okay. I don't want to see that. So anyway, guys, yes, I will be reviewing um, also more handbags um, in the near future too. Um, Pre-loved, of course. So um, until next time, guys, then I will talk to you later. Bye.